Italy is making a bold move in the military sector, planning a whopping 5 billion euro program to replace its aging Dardo vehicles with 1,000 new combat vehicles. This ambitious program is not just about modernizing Italy's fleet, it's about creating a new standard in combat vehicles, designed to tackle threats from improvised explosive devices and anti-tank missiles. The vision is for a vehicle that can share targets with other platforms and use a wide range of ammunition. The Italian government isn't going it alone. They're looking to involve European firms in the program, potentially leading to a new level of industrial integration in the sector. This multinational approach could transform the landscape of European military manufacturing and strengthen alliances within the sector. And this isn't a one-off investment. Italy's defense budget for 2023 includes a hefty 5.2 billion euros dedicated to this program over the next 14 years, with projected final spending reaching a staggering 15 billion euros. With the defense budget for 2023 set at 5.2 billion euros for this program, it's clear Italy is taking a significant step forward in modernizing its military capabilities. This new vehicle isn't just about quantity, it's about quality and technological advancement. Indeed, the combat vehicle that Italy is planning to introduce is set to be a game changer in the military arena. We're not talking about a simple replacement for the aging Dardo vehicles. This is about the future of warfare and how Italy plans to navigate it. One of the standout features of this new combat vehicle is its ability to share targets with other platforms. This means that information about enemy positions or movements can be shared in real time with other units, making for a more coordinated and effective response. It's like having a network of eyes and ears on the battlefield, each one capable of feeding vital data back to the others. This level of interconnectivity is a significant leap forward in combat strategy and execution. But that's not all. This combat vehicle is also designed to use a wide range of ammunition. This versatility allows for tailored responses depending on the threat at hand, whether it's a heavily armored tank or a nimble infantry unit. The ability to switch between different types of ammunition on the fly adds a whole new layer of adaptability and tactical depth. Lastly, and perhaps most importantly, this vehicle is designed to tackle threats from improvised explosive devices and anti-tank missiles. These are some of the most prevalent and dangerous threats on today's battlefields, and having a vehicle that is specifically designed to counteract them is a huge advantage. This not only improves the survivability of the vehicle and its crew, but also significantly enhances the effectiveness of the unit as a whole. So what we're looking at here is not just a new combat vehicle, it's a comprehensive upgrade in military capabilities, designed with the challenges of modern warfare firmly in mind. It's about evolving and adapting, about staying one step ahead of the threats that our military personnel face every day. These features make this vehicle not just a replacement for the aging Dardo, but a significant upgrade in terms of modern warfare capabilities. The program isn't just about building new vehicles, it's about forging new alliances and creating a more integrated European defense industry. You see, the grand plan here has a lot more to it than just replacing aging Dardo vehicles. Italy is keen on involving European firms in the program, which could lead to industrial integration in the sector. Imagine the possibilities when powerhouses like Leonardo, Iveco, KNDS and Rheinmetall come together. Each brings unique strengths to the table, and together they could create something truly remarkable. In fact, there's even talk of cooperation with the European battle tank program known as the Main Ground Combat System. This isn't just about bolstering Italy's defense, it's about strengthening the entire European defense industry. It's about creating a system where targets can be shared with other platforms, where a wide range of ammunition can be used, and where threats from improvised explosive devices and anti-tank missiles can be tackled effectively. This program could be a catalyst for more European cooperation on big-ticket programs, a move that has been stressed as necessary for the future of the sector. It's a bold vision, and if successful it could change the face of the European defense industry. As with any ambitious project, there are challenges to overcome and a long road ahead. Currently a significant hurdle is the formation of an industrial consortium to handle a feasibility study. This is a crucial first step in determining the program's viability. The consortium's formation is a meticulous process, necessary to ensure a robust and effective team that can successfully drive the project forward. Further, the creation of these state-of-the-art combat vehicles may require longer development times. This isn't surprising given the complexity of the task at hand, but it underscores the need for prompt action. 
it's essential that the consortium comes together swiftly to allow ample time for thorough development and rigorous testing of the vehicles. Despite these challenges, the potential benefits of this program both for Italy and for the European defense industry as a whole are undeniable. This initiative could catalyze more European cooperation on big-ticket programs, fostering a more integrated, efficient, and resilient defense sector. So, while the road ahead may be long and fraught with obstacles, the destination promises to be worth the journey.